Project Green Sand special because it's world leading. Putting CO2 into a reservoir for the sole reason of permanently storing and capturing it over a long period of time, we would like to be the first to get that done. Back in December 2020, we got the grant from the government so we could actually go out and do a physical test, a pilot test, which is what we're about to conduct now. So instead of extracting oil, we're going to inject CO2. Project Green Sand is a very smart way of using existing platform and actually reversing the flow. The vessel is hooked up to the tubing on the drilling rig and from there CO2 is being prepared, gotten to the right temperature, the right specification and is then being pumped all the way down to 2000 meters where it is then injected into the reservoir. And then that CO2 is going to sit there basically forever. Well, I have here green sand reservoir rock. Around one third of the rock volume is made out of cavities. And in these cavities, we can store CO2 in the subsurface of Denmark. The CO2 is actually not injected as a gas. It's actually injected as a compressed liquid. It will fill out the cavities and then by time it will react and then be mineralized as a carbonate minerals. So in that sense, it will through millennia will be converted to a much more stable form in the subsurface. And in addition to that, it's also capped by a thick mudstone that helps to give natural protection for CO2 to escape from the structure. We're going to monitor things like pressure and other responses in the reservoir to see how the CO2 behaves. And this is actually a very unique part of green sands. Very few, if any, CCS projects take this step. What it also means is that a lot of the employees we have out here will have a secure job for many years to come. Looking into the future of, uh, for myself and for my uh, colleagues, we have the skills already to operate and operate safely offshore. In an asset like this that perhaps had like five years left, now is, we're talking decades. We're already out here in the North Sea, we're already producing, we have the right capability set, so I think it's obvious for the oil and gas industry to be a leader. But what is also important is obviously we have the right incentives from the government and the regulatory fiscal regimes to support this adventure and, and start the new industry up. We have a unique opportunity to see what actually happens on a smaller scale before we ramp this up to 8 million tons by 2030 in green sense. It's a fantastic opportunity and we're very proud of that.